Hi there, this is Elizabeth from allthingspaper.com and it's March 14th and here is my second video. I wanted to uh, show you my latest album that I made. I love it. It's, uh, it's a baby book and I use the Graphic 45 papers. I love the Little Darlings is the name of the line and I love, love, love them. And I made one for a, a friend of mine and her uh, daughter's having a baby and it's for the baby shower. And then I had leftover paper so I decided to make another one and this is it and I'm selling it on eBay. It's uh, it's up there right now. If you go to uh, eBay and put in Ebeth, E-B-E-T-H and uh, O-O-A-K for one of a kind. So that would be one way of finding it in the search. If you type that in, it'll pop up. Um, and I'll put it down below. I'll put the link down below too. So anyway, this is the cover and I wanted to uh, explain a little bit about it. This flower I made using fabric and then I used a stiffy uh, solution. It's this stuff. It's really cool. It's the Stiffy Fabric Softener by Plaid and you just uh, soak your fabric in it and then let it dry. And what I did is I die cut it first and then I let it dry and it just made this beautiful flower and what I did then is I stressed it using the Tim Holtz uh, vintage photo color and that's a little brad and I just really liked how it turned out and this is a little stick pin that I made I don't know if you can see that very well there but that's a stick pin that I made simple just added these beautiful little uh, gems I got at AC Moore and uh, this is a stick pin uh, I'm not a stick a straight pin with a with a little pearl at the end and there's a little bling and that's from the, the paper line and this is the uh, the background is also from the paper line and then I distress this a little to give it a vintagey kind of worn look this is the inside cover and I added this little for baby presented to with a from so you can uh, present it either to the mom or to the baby and I was thinking like this would make a wonderful gift for a baby shower or from a newborn or for a newborn uh, these are just this is a flower that I made using flower pe petals that I glued together and this is just a pretty little piece of bling that I got or from uh, Michaels and on this page I love this uh, I think in my last, if you saw my last video, I told you I generally love to make these little coins pockets. And uh, so I made this little coin envelope, and on this side, it says here, it says a lock of hair. And I just thought, wouldn't that be cute to have this in here so that the mom or the dad can cut off a little lock of the hair and save it. And what I did is I put something inside here. There's a little surprise, and uh, it's a surprise, so... Unless you buy it, you don't know what it is. This is one of the little chipboard pieces, and I added a little bit of the uh, bling here. And this, I ran through my embosser to give it that lovely texture. I love that. I love that look. And this is just a, a band that, you know, things can slide under it. The overall size of this whole book is 5 by 7 on each page. And there's 14 pages, including the front and the back. This page, this is the cute little uh, photo mat, little journal spot, just a simple tag, goes right in here, and this is, I love this, with the little baby sleeping, it's like, oh, it looks like my granddaughter, I love her, love this, and I just added the little flowers and some more bling, and on this page, this is another uh, photo mount, uh, I guess, photo tag, photo mount, and I left it blank because you can put the photo on either side or journal on either side. And then these are from the, the line. And what I did is I put glossy accents on them so that they're stiff. And I glued them down but left it so that you can have a little pocket. Oh, and isn't this just the cutest paper? Look at that little baby. I just oh, love them all. I just love them. And this is upside down. This is a Hey, this what I did is I ran it through the embosser again and then I distressed it and I die cut it and added this little um, sticker this is this is from a I bought the whole sticker line of the little darlings 
and then I fussy cut this out. This is not from the Little Darlings. This is, I think there's maybe two pieces of paper on this whole thing that are not from the Little Darlings, and this is one of them. I just wanted to add some flowers to the uh, book, and that's just a little glitter that I added to it. And on this page, this is uh, a little mini booklet within the booklet, and this is this opens up here, and it's a little bit of Velcro to keep it closed so that it just simply closes like that. And this is for journaling, and uh, I just love that little picture, so I added that. And then when you open it up here, you have spots for two pictures. So you can put your journaling here and then add the pictures. And this is a little chipboard, and these are the little paper flowers from uh, Michael's. And uh, the bling is from Michael's. I think they're, yes, they're all the Michael's brands. And this is, it says adorable, and this is the photo mount. What I, I, I love putting in the word, and you can, you know, when, when the person has this, they can put the picture right on top of that. Or they can leave it if they want to see adorable. And on the back is some journaling. And then this is one of the pieces from the paper, and I just cut it out and left it open so that it becomes the pocket. And then I added the the bling here. It's the Recollections. That's the, I couldn't remember the Michaels brand. It's Recollections is the Michaels brand. And this is a flower that I made here using the papers from the, the Little Darlings. I, I die cut them out and then I put them all together, put in a little the rhinestone there and I put uh, I edged it all with the stickles and I, I just thought it was real pretty. I thought it turned out pretty well. And it's pretty firm. It's, uh, it's got a lot of strength to it. And then this little pocket is simple, comes out, and it says sweet, and then it's on the back here. And that goes right in here. And you turn the page. Again, this is another little kind of a booklet within a booklet. And uh, this is uh, one of the Tim Holtz dyes, flowers, and then I, I added uh, the vintage glass glitter, the silver, and a little bling. And this is held by a magnet which I put inside the paper and underneath here so that you don't see them, but you can see how it really holds it, keeps it shut. And when you open it, voila, you get these cute little journal spots. I just thought that was pretty cool. And these journal spots, they go with this, which is the next page. And uh, this simply lifts up for the two pictures here. So you can have your, over here you have your two spots, to journal, your two pictures go right here and here. I don't know if you can see that. And then behind this is a tag that comes out. And uh, it's one of the few tags. Most of these are, uh, I, I guess, photo tags or photo mounts. And this is one true tag. And uh, I put that on the back so you can do a lot of writing. And that slides in the back here. I love that. And this is the real um, soft ribbon. I just love this. Seam binding. It's it's almost like silk. I love this. I don't know if you can see that. See. And turn the page. Now this is uh, this was fun. This is two two flowers here that I put and mounted on and they become the holder to hold the tag, which I thought was pretty cute. And this is a blank on the front and back and this is for journaling and or picture. And there's a cute little sticker up there. And this is this is one of the other papers that's not from the line of the uh, Little Darling, but I thought it went well. And then on this page is another simple tag, photo mount. And um, this is the Tim Holtz Giggle little, oh, I don't know what they're called, but they're little sayings with a little stick pin, round pin that clips in. And this is so cute. It says Tiny Toes Shoe Company. I love this. I use this a lot in my collage. I just, I love it. I, I got it somewhere online years ago, and I just, I've used it again and again. I just love it. And this is the last page, and it has two. I made an extra uh, photo mount, so I left it blank. So you can, it's, it's on the back. You have the uh, journal. And on the front it's blank, and you can add your picture there. And then this one says love, and uh, it's also has a little spot on the back for journaling. 
and this is this adorable little picture and I added some beautiful bling here to go with it and I just love this picture I love all these pictures I just I think they're beautiful and this is the back pay back inside cover and I covered both the front and the back with this I love this um, it's like advertising old vintage advertising and I just think these three kids are the cutest little things and she looks just like my granddaughter and the back is covered with the same paper that I used on the front, which is the butterfly collection of the Little Darlings uh, line. And so that's it. This is my latest, and I hope you like it. And if you're interested in it, you can go to eBay to bid on it. And uh, good luck on your bidding. And that's it. So thank you, and I'll be seeing you soon. Bye-bye.